Almost everyone wants to be a parent, but biologically not all of us can, so sometimes it requires breaking barriers, medically and on occasion socially. Tonight, Sonia Azad brings us a first in the world moment happening in our own backyard. To any mother, he weighed eight pounds, four ounces. There's no bigger blessing than a baby. He's our miracle baby. Baby Stetson. He's pretty perfect in every way. Yeah. <laughs> has two doting moms. We're very, very grateful for him. We just sit and stare at him. Bliss and Ashley met six years ago, fell in love, then came marriage, then... I wanted to be pregnant for so long and so bad. I always wanted to have a child. I just didn't want to carry the child. Ashley and Bliss knew welcoming their own biological child would require a sperm donor and some creativity. Obviously, us being two women, we were like, how can we make this happen? We felt like, you know, there has to be a way. Turns out there is a way for both women to carry the same baby. And it looks like this. Fertility specialists Kathy Duty and husband Kevin at Care Fertility in Bedford would be the first to try reciprocal in vitro fertilization using radical technology to give Bliss and Ashley a shot at motherhood. How did that come about? Me. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you had this idea. Right. One, we were just talking one night at home, and I said, you know, I think we could use it um, for a same-sex couple. And Kevin said, I think you're right. I think we could. Here's how. The process starts like traditional IVF. Bliss went through the stimulation of her ovaries and the egg harvest. Instead of placing the sperm and Bliss's eggs into incubators in a lab, which is called reciprocal IVF and has been carried out for same-sex couples for years, they go into the chamber of this device immediately after egg retrieval. It's called an InvoCell, the device placed into Bliss's body for five days where early embryo development begins. She got the uh, embryo off to an early start. You know, the eggs fertilized in her body. And when they returned five days later, we removed the device and froze the embryos. Next, it's Ashley's turn. Almost like passing the baton, like it's a relay race. Doctors evaluated Ashley's uterus, gave her estrogen, then progesterone, waited for the right time, and transferred her wife's embryos to her body. And would you believe they got pregnant on the first try. She got to carry him for five days and was a big part of the fertilization, and then I carried him for nine months. So that made it really special for the both of us that we both were involved, and she, she got to be a part of it, and I got to be a part of it. What do you say to people who will inevitably say, you're playing with science, this is not how God intended for things to happen, and this is wrong? Well, I would respectfully disagree with someone I think that um, family, children, uh, a loving relationship is uh, exactly everything that was meant to be in our world. <laughs> it was everything that I hoped it would be. Stetson is a happy, healthy five-month-old. Bliss and Ashley are busy with motherhood. No one really knew it was possible, but it, it worked magnificently. The couple has two additional frozen embryos from Bliss, which they could use the same way, unless Ashley wants to use her eggs next time. <laughs> I think it opens up, you know, new avenues, new choices for um, same-sex couples. Hey, sugar bear. A reminder, doctors say there is not one path to parenthood. Sonia Azad, Channel 8 News.